In a bold and resolute move, the U.S. has unleashed powerful airstrikes in the heart of the Middle East, a direct and unwavering response to a drone strike that claimed the lives of three brave U.S. troops in Jordan. President Joe Biden, standing firm in his commitment, has declared an unyielding resolve to take decisive action against Iranian proxies, setting the stage for a dramatic and consequential chapter in the region's complex dynamics. In a synchronized and decisive operation, the U.S. military, joined by its steadfast allies, unleashed precision strikes against pro-Iranian aggressor troops entrenched in both Iraq and Syria. The relentless assault struck with pinpoint accuracy, targeting over 85 sites, dismantling Iranian-backed organizations and disrupting the operations of the formidable Revolutionary Guard. This bold move echoes a resolute stance against those who challenge stability in the region. In a display of unmatched firepower, American jets and formidable heavy bombers, including the powerful B-1 bombers, took center stage as they orchestrated a symphony of strikes. The thunderous assault saw the release of over 125 precision-guided bombs, each echoing a resounding commitment to strategic precision in the face of adversity. This aerial ballet underscored the unwavering determination to assert dominance and reshape the balance of power in the region. Zeroing in with surgical precision, the strikes honed in on a strategic array of targets, command centers, the nerve center of operations, intelligence facilities, the guardians of secrets, rockets and missiles, the instruments of potential havoc, UAV stockpiles, where aerial threats took refuge, and the very infrastructure fueling attacks on US and coalition forces. This relentless assault wasn't just about hitting targets, it was a strategic masterpiece dismantling the architecture of hostility. In the aftermath of the assault, the battleground bore witness to a toll of casualties among the formidable Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, and their militia counterparts. This strategic offensive aimed not only to quell the immediate threat but served as a resolute barrier against the specter of escalating conflict. The overarching mission, to safeguard the lives of US citizens and fortify national security, turning the tide in a high-stakes geopolitical chess match. The Republican chorus echoed with critiques, as leaders scrutinized the response, branding it excessive and casting doubt on its deterrent effect against future attacks. Murmurs of concern permeated the political landscape, questioning whether the retaliation inadvertently fueled the resilience of Iran-backed groups rather than quelling their ambitions. In this cacophony of opinions, the aftermath of the strikes becomes a battleground of perspectives on the delicate balance between strength and unintended consequences. In a calculated maneuver, the decision to postpone retaliation emerged as a strategic chess move. This tactical delay provided Iran with a window to shuffle its personnel, tactically reducing the imminent risk of a major confrontation. The overarching goal, to deftly diminish the operational capacity of Iranian-backed militias, walking the tightrope of tension management without spiraling into an uncontrolled escalation. It's a dance of geopolitical finesse with potential ripple effects in the intricate web of international relations. Amidst the geopolitical turbulence, the Biden administration boldly underscores its dedication to averting further conflict in the region. With a meticulous approach, the U.S. laser focuses on targets beyond Iran's borders, steering clear of direct confrontations on Iranian territory. This strategic maneuver unveils a nuanced pursuit of stability, emphasizing precision in addressing concerns without inadvertently stoking the flames of a broader and more perilous showdown. Amidst the aftermath, the Syrian military paints a somber picture, asserting civilian and troop casualties alongside substantial damage to structures in the wake of the U.S. attacks. Emerging reports sketch a vivid landscape of strikes echoing near the Syria-Iraq border, leaving an indelible mark on regions like Deir ez-Zor and al qaim This chapter unfolds as a testament to the reverberating impact of geopolitical decisions on the ground, where the consequences echo far beyond the immediate targets. In a diplomatic tango, Iran vehemently denies any involvement in the Jordan drone attack, deflecting attention toward groups operating from Iraq allegedly bolstered by support from the Revolutionary Guards. This intricate narrative unfolds as the U.S. cautiously abstains from direct engagement with Iran, threading a delicate needle to prevent exacerbating tensions and avoid further destabilization in the already volatile region. The geopolitical stage is set for a dance of rhetoric and restraint with global repercussions. As the airstrikes unfold, a parallel narrative unfolds in the delicate discussions between Israel and Hamas, exploring the potential for a deal to secure the release of hostages. Meanwhile, amidst escalating tensions, Iran asserts its reluctance to seek war but underscores a commitment to responding robustly in the face of perceived threats. The intricate dance of diplomacy and military action unfolds against the backdrop of a region navigating a complex tapestry of negotiations and strategic posturing. 
In a strategic pivot, Qatar-IB Hezbollah initially declared a halt to military operations against U.S. forces, a potential move aimed at alleviating rising tensions. However, in a contrasting stance, Al-Nujaba, another militant group, resolutely expressed its intent to persist in attacking U.S. targets. This nuanced shift within the militant landscape adds a layer of unpredictability to the ongoing geopolitical dynamics, as factions weigh their choices amidst a fragile truce. In the realm of complex negotiations, Israel and Hamas are actively engaging in discussions with the aim of reaching a potential deal to secure the release of hostages and potentially bring an end to hostilities. While agreement points have been established, the intricate details of the deal prove challenging to finalize, adding a layer of uncertainty to the ongoing diplomatic efforts. The unfolding situation demands a delicate dance of intricate diplomatic maneuvers, navigating through a labyrinth of political considerations. The challenge intensifies as the actors grapple with the complexity of dealing not only with one but multiple militant groups entrenched in the region. The geopolitical stage is set for a high-stakes performance where every move carries profound consequences and the potential to reshape the dynamics in this multifaceted landscape. Amidst the geopolitical chessboard, the U.S. adopts a strategic stance, prioritizing the avoidance of a larger war in the volatile Middle East. Each move is meticulously measured, reflecting a commitment to protect not only its strategic interests but, above all, the safety and well-being of its citizens. In this intricate dance of power, the U.S. seeks a delicate equilibrium between strength and restraint to navigate the complex landscape of international relations. Within the political arena, a cacophony of criticism from Republicans unveils a spectrum of opinions on the efficacy of the U.S. response. The Biden administration, in turn, treads a tightrope, navigating the delicate balance of addressing pressing security concerns without veering into the perilous territory of a broader conflict. The unfolding drama reflects the intricacies of leadership, where decisions are scrutinized under the spotlight of both domestic and international perspectives. Emerging reports paint a grim picture of civilian and troop casualties in Syria, casting a shadow of concern over the local population. The human toll, echoing through the aftermath of conflict, underscores the collateral damage that geopolitical decisions can inflict on innocent lives. As the world watches, the narrative shifts to the human cost of strategic actions in a region grappling with the complexities of war and peace. CNN takes center stage, delivering a comprehensive report on the airstrikes, delving into the intricate motivations, strategic maneuvers, and potential consequences. Behind the scenes, administration officials affirm a focused approach, with the U.S. directing its attention to targets beyond Iran. The communication channels remain open with the Iraqi government, but a deliberate choice is made to refrain from direct engagement with Iran. This unfolding narrative serves as a lens into the complex dance of information and diplomacy, revealing the nuanced layers of global decision-making. As the shadows of urgency loom, President Biden finds himself under mounting pressure to respond in the aftermath of the tragic deaths of U.S. troops in the Jordan drone attack. The delicate tapestry of decision-making weaves considerations beyond immediate retaliation, encompassing the need to forestall future militia attacks while astutely managing potential domestic political risks. In this crucible of leadership, each choice becomes a pivotal thread shaping the narrative of response and resilience. In a nuanced diplomatic ballet, the U.S. exercises meticulous care in managing its relations with Iran, deliberately sidestepping actions that could be construed as triggers for a larger conflict. The strategic choreography reflects a delicate balance, where each step is calculated to avoid unintended consequences and maintain a semblance of stability in a region marked by volatility. This dance of restraint emerges as a testament to the complexities of international relations and the art of avoiding geopolitical pitfalls.